Internet, I'm back! Beltheria, that is, with another stream of Neverwinter Nights 2 on Twitch. I do so apologize to you, YouTube viewers, for the audio setup last time. It was entirely my fault. I had been futzing around and... Futzing, not, not that other thing. Uh, and it didn't go so great. Uh, I forgot a setting when I was changing things around, and I thought I had everything back to normal, but I did not. So I'm going to jump right in. I've already explained this to Twitch. They're probably tired of hearing it. <laughs> Third time over by now. Uh, I went through my checklist. I did not restart my computer today, but hopefully that's not a problem. Nope. Movement is smooth. Fantastic. For those of you who don't know, uh, the... <laughs> there is a known bug with this game that if you haven't restarted your computer in a while, I guess, it will not start up correctly. Pretty fantastic, don't you think? Yeah, pretty fantastic. It will, uh, it'll judder your movement and all kinds of crazy stuff. So these are Neverwinter Citizens. Let's look at our map. Let's do our due diligence. Last time... We entered the city of Neverwinter via ship after solving a territorial dispute between the city of Highcliff, not city, the town of Highcliff, and a lizardman tribe who settled the area, fleeing the mayor of dead men. Okay. So, from what I can tell, the, uh... <laughs> Okay. From what I can tell, the city is blocked off into multiple segments, and we are... Last time, we said we were going to find a shop. Armorsmith, Weaponsmith, City Watch. And probably any number of events in between. There is the Sunken Flagon. We said we were going to go straight to the shop. I'm pretty sure that the Sunken Flagon is where our uncle is. So let's not go there first. Let's go to the Armorsmith. Let's, let's take this way. That's just another random citizen. Hagen's Imports. Oh. Hagen's Imports sounds like a thing. Oh. Haha, <laughs> City Watch. This sounds like a job for me. That looks like an event if I've ever seen one. Hello. Keep your nose clean while here in the docks. The watch has enough problems as it is. Why do you say that? We've been having trouble controlling the thieves here in the district. They're running loose like they own the place. Marshal Cormac and his lieutenant have stepped up patrols, but they just don't have enough men to keep an eye on every street corner. Just watch your step, keep your head down, and you'll be fine. Any directions? Uh, while you're at it, ask him if I can... Find the skinnies in this city. I'm eager to join them. The skinny. Right, he wants a uh, monastery. Hmm, might want to try the Church of Tear in the Merchant Quarter. It's behind the City Watch building in that district. Merchant Quarter. Near the graveyard. Cool. Sunken Flagon? Duncan's Place? That's easy. Is in his right on the side of the docks. Yeah, we knew where that was. It was on the map. Um. Where's the City Watch building? One here in the docks, big building, center of the district, hard to miss with the walls around it. Anything else? Um, I need a weaponsmith. That would be Ripko, shops on the north side, overlooking the waterfront, just follow the docks. Okay. Uh, how about armor? You'll be looking for Worth's place then, he's got a shop on the road to Dolphin Bridge. Next to the city watch building. Okay. Uh, we saw him on the map, too. Uh, I don't care about crafting supplies. How about Merchant Quarter? Um, east of here! Across the Dolphin Bridge. Just follow the road that runs alongside the city watch walls. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. What about crafting supplies? Sands shop, right across from the sunken flagon. Good luck getting in, though. He only allows people he already knows. Well, goodbye, guy. Alright. We learned something. 
Uh, I got something to report. Talk to the sergeant. Okay. Well, whatever. Whoop. Let's zoom out. And, uh, let's find this weapons merchant. Neverwinter citizen who is injured? For some reason, there are a lot of injured citizens around here. Maybe that's a thing. Hello, injured bro. How are you? No. Just the city watch is useless. The docks are in chaos. Welp. Let's suppose any of these buildings is it said to just go north on the docks and I'd find a place there's a sign there but it's a sign that I can't interact with it's not great but hey whatever bro hmm a little obelisk around the town I'm sure that's nothing sinister Another statue with citizens setting around. Uh, that looks like a city watch building. There's a wall. Okay. Seriously, though, where is this armor guy? Ah, there's Repco. That is not along the docks. Okay. The name's Repco. You're tough looking for a blade. I'll hold mine up against any of my competitors. Just... Just show them. You know what? No, let's, let's have a conversation. How's your business? Could be worse. Could be better. With all the nastiness up in the docks, the people are looking to arm themselves. I'll make a pretty penny off of that. Yeah. What is... Oh, there's a tree. There's an invisible tree. Right here. On the other hand, fewer people are entering the district, and those that do aren't here to shop. It's a rough time to be a weaponsmith. Well, so uh, sell me what you got. Show me what you got, what you really, really got. Ah, you got crafting supplies that I don't need. Because I'm not going to be doing crafting on screen. Huh. A katana mold. Well, I'm not making katanas because they're kind of a shit sword. Like, in real life. I don't particularly like them. Oh, what are you? If you're what I think you are. Keen Edge. Three uses per day. Huh. Most scabbards of this type were created by a long-forgotten order of paladins and militant clerics. But today they see use by all sorts of warriors, both good and evil. Wonderful. That's exactly what I remember it being in the pen and paper. Beautiful. Um... That said, I don't really have anything I want. The keen edges could be useful, but let's see the swords. Uh, you know what? Yes. How are your arrows doing? You are out. You are out of arrows. Uh -huh. I don't know how you are out of arrows, but you are out of arrows. I'm not going to buy you plus one arrows. That's insane. Though it would explain why you stopped being useful in combat. Let's go ahead and... Excuse me. Oh, right. This nonsense. Programming logic. Yes. Have to put it in your inventory before you can put it in their inventory. Wunderbar. Alright. Well, we got 96 arrows on her. We don't need more than that. Um. Clubs, daggers, darts. Uh, the Elven Court Bow. Examine. Do a longbow? Or a longbow. Okay. This new bow is more a work of art than a weapon of war. Fine engravings dance over the polished wood, and the bowstring gleams of gold. Almost singing when drawn. Once thought a unique and singular example of elven craftsmanship, this theory was discarded when scholars verified half a dozen identical bows in the ruins of Mithdranor. Well, you're a uh, D8, so long bow, yeah. Uh, mighty plus three, so I think you just do... Oh, you're a plus three long bow. Basically. Uh, 
I think mighty is you can use up to three of your strength bonus. I think that's their way of doing composite. Uh, the Fist of the Legion. Uh, Sword Coast Legion for, uh, I don't know, things. Uh, plus one stun. Nah, thanks. I'm fine. A foundation? Um, knock. What? You found it early in that's a violent glass with so called knock. I guess that's a knockdown. Don't know why I would say knock. Because knock is a different thing entirely. Um, hmm. Weird. Crossbows, katanas, crotons, skull crusher. That's a d12. Weapon size large. I think that means two handed. There's some yeah. weird stuff going on there. Oh, well, let's re examine. Well, actually, let's see here. Medium. Yeah, I think they're using that older setup for things, which was kind of annoying. It was useful in its own way, but uh, it determined whether or not you could wield things one or two handed. If it matched your size, it could be one handed. If it didn't, then it couldn't. Um, <laughs> it was a little finicky, but whatever. Oh, goodness. Plus one with lots of damage versus orcs, half-orcs, and goblinoids. I'm going to pass on that because I don't know how many orcs, goblins, and half-orcs we're going to fight. The law giver. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Bastard sword. <clears throat> That's not very good. Lesser rift hammer. During the time of troubles, the walls between dimensions seemed particularly thin, and the many creatures normally confined to other planes walked the face of Toril. Unfamiliar items appeared as well, including several of these weapons found after the portals of the rifts were sighted. The true origins of the rift hammers have never been explained, and superstitious folk refuse to even hold them for fear they retain the taint of the lower planes. Well... Dang! That is a plus one Sonic Warhammer. And he can wield it. And it's a straight up upgrade over over this, because this is a D8 with a D6. Actually, it might not be. Damn it. Oh, it's not. Dang! Dang ol' dang. That would have been neat. I guess it has a higher critical threat, but, uh, or higher critical damage. Mm. But I think the Morning Star is worth not spending <laughs> 14,000 gold. Uh, which is weird that it says I can buy it, considering I can't, because I don't have that much money. Boom, Phoenix. Yeah. Bone Phoenix, you'll get caught in the Bone Phoenix. Oh, the sandstorm. Hello, what have we? Thirty, thirty-four thousand. Holy butts! You must be fantastic. You are a great axe. Uh, ooh, your DC is your AC is re reduced by one. Plus two has a blind effect for four rounds. Rare. Along the edge of the Anorok lived a tribe of nomads whose, whose ferocity in battle became a legend that told a bleh, told of a giant whirlwind of sand that would destroy caravans, leaving nothing but corpses behind. The truth behind the legend was that the shaman of this tribe was more powerful than he knew, and he created this weapon that sprays sand with every swipe, often blinding opponents. That's super not worth it. Um, uh, not really seeing anything. A couple things caught my eye, but by and large, eh. Could upgrade to a shortbow plus one for our girl here. 
No, we can't. We already have that. Um, sling is just a backup weapon. It's kind of rubbish. Yeah, I don't think we need anything that he has. That scabbard is kind of neat, but otherwise, there's nothing. Uh. If I wanted to get fancy with it, I might try scything up a storm. Oh, hey, how did I miss you? Examine. The history of this weapon, the Arc Asunder, is obscure, though all examples of the type seem to have originated in the great wastes of the Enrock Desert. We read about that earlier. Where vast storms of wind and sand charge the air with energy, perhaps the smith who created these pole arms wished them to be as formidable as the great sea, great sand sea itself. So you are a halberd, that's actually kind of neat. And you do electrical damage. You have a light effect, that's nice. Plus four to parry. I suppose I can wield a halberd. Uh -huh. I cannot. Dang, all the magic items that have a, an inbuilt light effect, just, I can't have them apparently. That is a shame. Anyway, let's sell our excess crap. Let's start by going through my stuff. I don't need this scimitar. I don't need this healer's kit. I don't know the scrolls. I'm holding on to the scrolls because I want to have a wizard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of Eleni and get a wizard. I am a wizard, Harry. Thieves tools. Malachite. Ah. Hmm. Bloodstone, Lucas River Forest Rock. Yeah, uh, those we all keep. That we keep. Oh, we actually don't really have anything. Oh, the Armor of Loyalty. What the hell? How did I miss you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. What have we here? You, uh... When he angered a rival enchanter, the wizard Mekari came under repeated attack from his own charmed or dominated bodyguards. This was expensive as well as dangerous, so he set about trying to counter the threat in a way he could, he would not meet in a way that would not mean constantly killing his own men. With armor of this type, Mikari considered his men above reproach. He was proven wrong when his own lieutenant murdered him in a dispute over back wages. Huh. Now, I would very much like to be immune to uh, charm person and dominate person. But, let's be honest here, the biggest threat if we get dominated probably won't be me. Uh, in fact, I don't even know if on this difficulty, on normal difficulty, we can be dominated. But, if we look at the chainmail plus one, we might just be able to get him a bonus. Uh, three... Uh, probably not, actually, now that I think about it. It's made of metal. I might just upgrade my armor with that. Let's look at me. Uh, you know, we're not buying anything that you have. I'm sorry, sir. Um, and I don't see anything that I have to sell you, so... Good day! Unless... I stacked it on other people. Well, yes, we're getting rid of the sickle. Yes, get rid of the sickle. It's five gold. Uh, I might rig her towards dual wielding later. In fact, I probably should have been doing that, because range damage seems to be kind of dependent on ammo, which sucks. But whatever. But what have I... What have I... No. Um, yeah, we're fine. Everything's fine here. I'm keeping this purely out of sentimental value, and I'm... Yeah, let's sell the falchion. Falchion plus one, whatever. We're gonna have to... Wait a minute. I got, like, 600 out of that, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever, I do what I want. Hmm. Alright, stop. Stop being silly. Let's go to the armor. 